Next up is moving character. A pretty eagle flying in a blue sky. It moves right when you press the right arrow. It's true. It moves right when I press the right arrow, but it doesn't go up, down, or left. Make the character move in all four directions. All right, let's figure that out. What have we done here with assets? We have a folder with the eagle picture in it. Here's the game code. A little bit longer now. Uh, the usual stuff, the onload, creating the game. This is new. We've turned on um, arcade style physics. It's one of the ways to make um, realistic things like, um, for example, when I when I just touch the right arrow, it sets the eagle in motion and then it gradually comes to a stop. Um, also with the physics, you can have um, gravity and collision detection, things like that. We're not doing much with it in this program. In the preload, we load eagle.ping from the assets folder and we give it a name player. Then in create, we add a sprite called player, which is the eagle. We gave it the name player here. And we put it at x coordinate 100, which is about here. And then halfway down the height, which is here. Then we say create cursor keys. This is a handy way of being able to use the up, down, left, and right arrows. Here in update, we have this constant move amount, and we set the drag to 2,000, and I don't know what the units are. And then we say, if the right button, which is the right arrow, is down, then we set the velocity, the x component of the velocity, to the move amount. So I'll just push right down. So that sets it in motion. It sets the velocity. So the velocity along with the drag control how long it stays moving after you just touch the button. Make the character move in all four directions. So I think we're going to need something like um, duplicating this. Copy, paste, paste. And now we're interested in whether the left button is down. And we can say negative move amount. So we're setting the x component of the velocity now to minus 200. Now when I run, I can go right and left. How are we going to do up and down? Well, let's do, let's duplicate uh, this block of two lines and change it. So we're interested in the up and the down. And now we are not changing the x component of the velocity, we're changing the y component. So let's see, push the down button and the y should increase. You push, uh, whoops, this is the up button. The up button, so the y should decrease and the down button should make the y increase. So now we should have movement in all four directions. Right, left, up, down. Good. Change the movement speed. That's as simple as changing this. So let's multiply it by 10. It should go a lot faster. And boy, it sure does. Look at that. I'm just, just going to touch it. Here I go. <laughs> so that's way too much. Let's try uh, maybe 500. That's nice. I'm just touching it. It kind of flies off that way for a while, and because of the drag, eventually it stops. Uh, experiment with different drag values. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's start by eliminating the drag altogether. 
I push the right arrow, and there's nothing to make it. My hand is not on the keyboard. It's still going without the drag. It just doesn't stop. Let's put the drag back to something. Uh, so let's make it 10,000. And I touch, stops very quickly. Okay, so you're meant to see that the move amount and the drag kind of work together with how fast it moves and how uh, quickly it comes to a stop. Okay, that completes moving character.